Mark Zuckerberg has a vision for the future. It's virtual, it's online, but it's still a long way off. It feels like people have been heralding the arrival of Web3 forever, right? So why hasn't it changed our lives yet? Web 1, of course, was all about getting access to information. Web 2 added in writing and creativity. It saw the rise of platforms where users can make their own content, social media, blogging, podcasts, and, of course, YouTube, for example. Web 3 is supposed to bring the power of blockchain, and with it, the promise of things like decentralization, access and ownership of our own data, as well as greater privacy, and, of course, the metaverse. It's a future that is beyond any one company that will be made by all of us. I believe, I believe when it's all meant to be. Lord knows we got some tricks up our sleeve. Magic. Virtual reality has existed pretty much since Tron was released back in 1982. And since then, we've been collectively obsessed by the idea of it. Few have managed, though, to match the scale of obsession of Mark Zuckerberg, however. He has seemingly pivoted one of the world's largest tech companies, Facebook, almost entirely towards VR and the metaverse. It's prompted a lot of interest, and it's also prompted a lot of questions. Dominic Maffei from SE Ventures told audiences at Hong Kong Fintech Week recently that regardless of his success, Zuckerberg has already managed to change the conversation. Our clients start saying, what are your house views? What do you think? What's the opportunity? And um, it's really, you know, still to this day, a lot of our clients are still trying to understand our corporate clients. How does this affect me? Like, what can I do here that makes sense? Um, what's the what's the new business model? Um, and I think that's probably the first step. I mean, getting that understanding. Sadly, the obsession hasn't translated into revenue quite yet. And frankly, shareholders look a bit worried. The price of Meta stock has fallen around 70% in the last 12 months. Investors really appear to have lost faith in Zuckerberg's vision. But that's not just because the user experience is still a long way from living up to expectations. It's also because Meta hasn't monetized the venture yet. The company is reportedly looking at things like generating revenue from creating NFTs, and that chimes with the early business models that we've seen in similar ventures like the Sandbox from Animoca. While these sorts of moves have begun to generate some returns, making money from Web3 remains something of an enigma for many developers. Given how early we remain in the development process, some, like Laura Shi from Consensus, feel it shouldn't yet be prioritised. People should not just come to uh, we call, um, an ecosystem that utilises block te blockchain technology for return seeking. They should come here for fun, for looking for some um, social experience, entertainment experience. I have to say that for uh, the mass population come back from Web 2 to Web 3, there's a lot of work we need to do, not only from the uh, institutional or, or the business end, but also for the end user. So how long are we going to have to wait for all of this? If you look back at, like, you know, kind of Web 1, early 2000s, um, you know, there was a lot of hype. Right, Nasdaq was at six thousand. There were all these companies. There were companies selling online dog food valued at you know half a half a million dollars. Um, and there was a long trail of dead bodies that led to what ended up being Web two, right? Um, and likely the same thing happens here. Well, big questions still remain over the role that cryptocurrencies will play, and ultimately who will control it all. Facebook's reputation, for instance, when it comes to data, is let's say, complicated. The idea of blockchain, of course, is that individuals can ultimately own their own data. But some have questioned how this squares with our current Web2 world, where our data is constantly being sold between companies. The ultimate experience is that the data is publicly accessible. So the data is owned by the user itself who generate the data. On the other hand, the data can be publicly visited by whoever wants to read a transaction on chain. But at the same time, like for different use cases, people need privacy to make transactions happen. Where does all this leave the metaverse then? Well, for now, and possibly for some time to come, very much in a virtual reality. But what do you guys think about how the metaverse is developing and the problems with it? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget as well to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell below to see some more videos like this from us. Trading in cryptocurrency may be banned in China, but blockchain innovation certainly is not. 
In fact, the importance of blockchain in fintech was brought up in China's 14th five-year plan. The country is pushing ahead with its CBDC, and blockchain is being used to launch cities into metaverses and much more. That is the focus of the latest edition of Word on the Block. That's where Forecasts editor in chief Angie Lau is sitting down with Yi Fan He, CEO of Red Date Technology. You can catch the first part of the interview online from November 7th. Part two will be available from November the 21st. So the Hong Kong is the home base of the Spartan network. And also uh, because it's for outside China and, uh, and, and the target customer is traditional IT industries, it's not the crypto industry. So, so uh, we work with uh, almost two dozens of very famous Hong Kong companies. You know, the first time when we talk to their IT department, you know, they understand what we're trying to do immediately immediately you know it's, it's, it's always be hard to talk with my crypto friends <laughs> you know so why you even do this <laughs> you know but for the traditional IT department they actually immediately understand this you know because the way we position this first the BSN Spartan network is basically a decentralized cloud services network so it's not even about blockchain blockchain we consider them as the operating system within this decentralized the cloud. 